Hello everybody, my name is Vaklid, number 45, without wisdom teeth, and I'll ignore that. Um, <coughs> <coughs> yeah, your boy got wisdom teeth removed yesterday, it's still extremely swollen, it's hard to speak, it hurts to speak, and I've taken all of four naps since yesterday. Four or five. Um, yeah, um, so I'm going to spend the 8 minutes and 55 seconds that I have, uh, to essentially explain my experience from 10.30, uh, leading up to the actual thing, and then afterwards, t and some questions you guys left for me. So, 10.30 rolls around, we went to the doctor's office. And then <coughs> I have my face just see how, so you guys can see how absolutely fucking swole I am right now. Mom said I got looks. It looks like I got into a fight with Mike Tyson and I lost. I think I won. Anyways, so I was extremely anxious and I didn't know what to think about it because I've never. It was my first surgery. It's the first time I've ever been professionally cut into. All right. And I had three IV placements. One was right here. And I flinched because the shit hurt. So he missed my vein. One right here. I also flinched. It hurt and I missed my vein. And then this one was successful. So, you know, my mom gave me a little rub on my head. And then I was like, see ya buddy, love ya. And I was like, love you too mom. You know, all that nice heartwarming stuff. And then, um, my last comment before I went to sleep was, oh god, I feel lightheaded. <laughs> um, yeah. So, apparently I, I kind of started to wake up in the middle of it. I don't remember. I was unconscious the entire time. But I, I was showing signs of waking up. So he put more anesthesia in me, and I went back to sleep. Which is completely fine, and I enjoyed the experience, except it fucking hurt. And then I woke up, and I was loud, okay? I was extremely fucking loud, and yeah, I'm still hurt. <coughs> um, yeah, they were like, you gotta be quiet. I was like, no, I'm not quiet. You're just not loud. Wait, I said, no, I'm not loud. You're just extremely quiet. And the accent of hearing soften up or harden up or whatever. So that happened, and I I actually had to go get uh, help to walk because I took two steps, and then I started to do a dance, which was a no bueno because I almost fell. So uh, yeah, if you want to see my reaction shortly after, um, link to it will be in the description down below. Here's some questions. Uh, did you say a lot of random shit or were you not put on anesthesia? I was put on anesthesia. Um, it made me extremely lightheaded. I closed my eyes to blink and I just went out. And I did say a lot of random shit, like I said, video down below. Um, it wasn't as painful as I thought it would be. I thought I'd be still be in a lot of pain. How high am I currently? Not as high as I thought I'd be. Um, I was extremely high from off the anesthesia for like a few hours, and then I, I, it, it kind of, you know, wore off, and, uh, yeah. Uh, dude, you were so zooted, it was really funny vid, you should do, definitely do more of vlogs if you can. Fuck no, it fucking hurt, I hated every second of it. Um, I extremely disliked it, uh, yeah. It was not fun. For me, a lot of people, you know, think it was, you know, I, it didn't, it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. And the second I woke up, I was like, oh shit, that was kind of easy. But, um, yeah, I have stitches in my mouth and I, and I can like feel them, but I can't play with them. Um. 
I can eat a shit ton of ice cream and popsicles and yogurt and shit like that. I can't eat anything hard, but I can eat Pop-Tarts, which I tested last night because I wanted a midnight snack. And the hardest part is when you're kind of retarded and you forgot that you can eat up until midnight. No, I thought you couldn't eat for 12 hours beforehand. Wasn't the case. <laughs> so, yeah, I kind of screwed up with that part. So I was extremely hungry going into it. And then when the receptionist was like, oh yeah, did he eat anything after midnight? Or drink anything? Can't even drink anything. If you need to have a sip of water, fuck you, you can't. And I looked up why. It's like a gas bubble could pump up or something like that. And just, it's a no bueno. So, uh, yeah. It's kind of hard to not be scared about it especially if it's your first surgery surgery because it was mine it was my first first time i've ever needed stitches first time i've ever needed a doctor to cut into me so um yeah i don't really know uh i didn't really know how it was going to be it went a lot um, less, uh, scary as I thought it'd be, but, uh, yeah, they're supposed to naturally dissolve, but I did pop one, or two, maybe three, and there's six, I think, yeah, there's three on here, this side, three on this side, this is the most swollen part right here, it's, there's really nothing to be scared about, um, because he did make sure I stayed asleep. And, uh, yeah. That was a little bit of a q and If you guys have any more questions, I will definitely reply to them when I wake up. Because I'm going to sleep immediately after I post this video. <gasps> yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys have, like I said, if you guys have any more comments about it, please leave it in the comment section down below. Make sure to subscribe. Um, I don't normally do video videos like these. I just wanted to show my face to see how swollen it is. And, uh, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Until then. Peace.